Hey, make sure you guys hit that like button. Let's get into the video. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Apah, King Kong. Yeah, what's going on everybody? It is your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new YouTube video. Today, I want to talk to you guys about my legend grind. Now, first and foremost, eventually, I'm going to be a legend. When? I don't know. Season three? Heck no. Season four? I don't think so. Season five? I mean, no. But when I do hit legend, it probably will be dope. I will probably be happy with the reward, hopefully, because I'm still a little bit upset that 2K never tells us what we're going to get for all the grinding that we do. I really don't like surprises, but um, I wanted to give you guys an attribute update, um, a build update, a uh, move update, freaking just everything about my first build in 2K. Now, as the consensus went, the 6-3 builds kind of died out. We really don't see them anymore. Everybody's running around with the 6-8 or 6-9, mainly 6-9, because of reasons which I don't want to tell y'all, but I'm going to tell y'all anyway. Badges. That's all I'm going to say. But for all the people that are running around with 6-9 builds, I want to say congratulations. Because guess what? I'm making one. Yeah, I'll be making one in a later video. You guys will see how that is drawn out. But I want to show you guys, first off, what my build is, what the badges look like, and everything like that. So, as far as the attributes on this build, there is a creation video. It's probably going to be in the card above. You guys can go ahead and check this out. I went with the 82 vertical to get that, uh, that elite contacts and stuff like that. Um, as far as badges go, coring has been the hardest for me. For shooting and finishing um we finally finished off um coring posterizer inside of my career i think we did it like right after college i ended up getting it um posterizer on hall of fame and now i use limitless takeoff on hall of fame now of course there are people out there you know the gatekeepers of limitless range that will say you only really need limitless range on silver in order to pull off quick drops off one now if you're that type of player i understand I'm that type of player, but this build is actually not fast enough to do that consecutively. You know what I mean? My tendencies is a little messed up. You know what I'm saying? But when I get six nine, it's over. Now, as far as the shooting badges go, coring shooting badges for tier three have been the hardest for me. I don't stand at limitless range, and dead eye is literally a dead grind. Um, let me show you guys what I mean by that. Dead eye on silver. I've had this badge on for over about two and a half to three weeks now and we are only cored up to silver here now when i do core this batch of course i'll take catch and shoot and keep that on gold and i'll probably try to use like limitless range if i can afford it see that's another problem it's hard to afford things out here you know what i'm saying Affor affording things is real real tough but as far as playmaking go clan breaker like bar none the easiest badge to core for playmaking quick first step and then hyperdriver right after that you can literally core a quick first step like this then you know if hyperdrive go higher than your quick first step you can go ahead and core hyperdrive and put quick first step on silver or whatever and then clan breaker or handles for days whichever one of those you go for which i think you should go ahead and core those because my handles for days is on bronze and I was able to core it and that was before I got clan break or whatever. Now, defense. <sighs> defense for this build is terrible. I'm going to tell you why. Challenger. I was about to core it um, for whatever reason. The problems happen where you might core the badge a little bit too early and the system glitches your badge and it doesn't core. Like I could have cored this, but let me tell you guys what happened. When I created this build, it only had 12 finishing, which means when you create your build, if you can't afford the coring at the creation of your build, start tweaking it and remaking it because I can't core anything in tier three at all which means challenger i haven't had it on for a, quite a while now now of course i haven't played wreck in a while and i'll tell you guys a little bit later in this video but basically clamps is all that i have now clamps is like the only badge that i could put on that will help me because everybody wants to rim run and all i want to do is just bump somebody so please clamps please just help me bro 
I'm trying to core clamps on silver so that I can afford Challenger. But I'm going to tell you right now, man, it's pricey, pricey, pricey. So that's why this build will eventually get shelved because I can't core tier three badges on defense. All right. Now, as far as my, um, I'm not worried about that. As far as my takeovers go, I've been switching things up. But Accelerator is still the perk of choice. Some people will argue up and down that juice is better. I'm a juice person. You know what I'm saying? I'm orange juice. You know what I'm saying? I'm from that era. But Accelerator is just still it. You hit two shots. You get one good defensive play. You got takeover. So uh, it's, it's really no argument. Juice does help your attributes build up. But I'm going to be honest. Every build out there on the floor is a god. So juice really ain't for builds that are have already everything you know what i mean um as far as gym rat uh i'm actually i'm actually at the gatorade center right now and i wanted to show you guys that i am literally one workout away from getting gym rat so i'm gonna go ahead and do that on screen with you guys while i talk to y'all now of course as far as a lot of the builds go I'm gonna tell you now, the 7-2 with the slash and takeover build is pretty good, but a lot of people will call it one dimensional if you don't put any shooting into it. And people will just stand in the paint and just let you go ahead and run, run until you get there. Now, um, also the 6-9 builds, everybody's creating them. Everybody's creating different variants of them. I've seen a two-way three level scorer. I've seen a two-way inside out scorer. I've seen a, a two-way diamond finisher. I've seen a inside out scorer called that. I've seen a playmaking shot creator somehow called that at 6-9. It's just, it's a lot of variations of the build. A lot of variations, but all in all, everybody's loving the 6-9 wave. As far as jump shots, if you guys are looking for a jump shot, I'll make an official video for my jump shot, but my jump shot is already in my face scan video. So if you don't want to wait on that, go ahead and head over there. It's probably in the card above as well. And we have four stars, which means Jim Rat is me. I am I am the rat. I am Jim Rat. Um, finishing that off actually is probably the best thing that I wanted to do since 2k actually came out because i didn't want to make any build until i knew for sure that i was getting gym rat all right now gym rat batch is earned um i don't have to work out ever again um also i am a big proponent of not purchasing boosts unless i'm in a gaming tournament so yeah i'm never buying anything ever again um if i get it from the wheel great I'm not purchasing nothing else. I need to save my VC for builds and clothes. I don't care to be a little bit better with my jump shot and stuff like that. I don't care about that. All right. Now, um, let's talk about my animations for a moment. Um, as far as my animations go, I'm just going to go ahead and just show you guys right here. This is this is all you need for a build like mine. If you have a 6'9", I can dribble or any build shorter than mine that can dribble like 85, 87 ball handle. Don't look at none of these moves. Um, you saw my attributes. You saw my ball handle. If you have a ball handle in the mid to high 70s, these moves are good enough. But please, for the love of me, have a little bit of acceleration and a little bit of speed, much better than mine. Because I'm going to tell you now, you feel like molasses. I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there. You feel like molasses. Now, as far as uh, my jump shot, um, like I said, go watch my face game video. No, nah, I'm just playing, man. I'll, I'll show you guys my jump shot, man, because I... I know y'all just be wanting to show us, oh, show us, oh, show us, oh, show us. All right, so, um, bruh. All right, here we go. Uh, Kevin saved me. Um, how can I? I can't, I can't. Okay, I'm just going to go to Jump Shot Creator, and I'm going to edit save, and I'm going to get Kevin save me. I'm going to edit the jump shot. I'm going to go yes, and that's my jump shot. All right, you see it? Cool. Bye. Um, let me back out of there. <laughs> Yo, I don't be wanting to show y'all my jump shot, man. Y'all be y'all be on my head, bro. All right. Um, dunk style creator. Uh, these are my dunks. I only have contacts off two. Uh, I have quick drops and tomahawks. Um, straight arm off one. I have my contacts off one as well. I have regular standing NBA dunks. Don't know how I can afford those. I have Clyde Drexler's jump uh, jumper uh, signature dunks, and I have basically. All of the alley-oops and all of the contact alley-oops except for small and big. Um, as far as gameplay effects, 
uh, I use the Comet. I also have the wings and I have the three point star under my whatever. Now, this is the meat of the video. Um, I'm gonna let y'all see my stats. Let me explain. So, I play with my fans. Um, if you're a fan of me, if you watch my videos, if you watch one of my tutorials, one of my breakdown videos, one of my reactions, whatever, join my Discord. Um, I accept all. You know what I mean? It don't matter what your build is, who you play, you know, except for you just got to be on PS5. I don't do nothing else. It's PS5. But my record is like this because I play with my fans. And I'm not saying that my fans sell me. They'll be selling me. But what I'm saying is I just like to, you know, just share the, I guess the, I don't know, the camaraderie with my community. Like we laugh, we cry, we argue. Like like we literally have our ups and downs and I love every minute of it because we are all human. And it's good to play with people that are not just, I want to win every time. If I don't win every time, I'm not playing with you ever again. Get better iPod. I don't, I don't like that. I, I really don't. Um, honestly, it fucks with my anxiety. I don't like really being good at the game every minute of every fucking second, but other people do. Now, um, let's go ahead and go to the legend prize because that's what I want to talk about. So as far as me hitting legend, it is now about three days left in the season and I have to get to a hundred thousand points before I hit legend. I'm only at 5,900. Some people are already at 25, 30,000, 40,000. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't know. How, how are you doing this? Are you cheating? You're not cheating. You're just that good at the game. I don't understand. Help me help myself, please. But you basically can score 100,000 points in the city, pro am, and rec games. That means theater. You cannot, those points don't go to it. I don't know how that 1v1 event went to points, but for some reason it did. I don't know how, but. When I went into the theater and I played like 3v3 no squads and I played 3v3 squads, points did not accumulate. Maybe it was just me. Maybe it was a visual glitch. I don't know. Please tell me in the comment section if that is real. As far as playing 500 games at GOAT level, I'm at 152. I'm almost halfway there, but I lost my GOAT status because of Uncle Demi's uh, tournament inside the stage. Can I just say that all the competition was fierce. Uh, we made it to the finals, game five. We ended up losing out. Me, New York Minute, and boom, we literally just were all trying to be on the same page. The entire tourney, we did our best. And with me traveling, like one game I played at home, um, another game I played um, at the AMP house. And of course, the final game I did as well in the AMP house, but it wasn't my internet. It wasn't my monitors. I'm not blaming that. You know what I mean? But uh, as far as completing 12 season quests, I have completed three. I should have four. I should have five, but I don't. Um, eventually, when I get free time to do these actual uh, events, yeah, we're going to get there. 20 prizes for these events. Um, I don't know if I can win prizes. I'm really not that good at the game. Um, yeah, but let me show you guys the 12 quests real fast, and then I'll show you guys the event stuff. But uh, here we go. Um, as far as quests go, for the season quests, I have three days to be a walking bucket. I have to get 520 points in any affiliation in order to get this last season quest, which will tally me at four, which means we won't be seeing any legends until at least season three. That means every grinder, every legend that will... That will actually be the first few legends of NBA 2K23 will happen in season three. All right. I repeat, you will see the first legends in season three. Okay. That means as soon as they get done doing them quests, they don't got to worry about nothing else. They will be legend because by season three, they probably will have 100K points. They'll probably have all the events done, which is, I think, uh, 20 events, and they will have already the 500 games played. Um, I have somebody that I'm playing with on twos that is already uh, almost there. Um, J. Ron, let me see. Uh, let's see. I think we are still in squad. No, we are not still in squad. All right. Did he leave? I don't know. He might have left. Um, let me see. Yep, he left, but uh, he has a level 40 with one star under it. That means that he's already got his 500 games in that gold level. Um, so, you know, that's that's the thing. 
You feel me? Um, is there anything I missed before I get out of here? Um, I would never play 3v3 Pro Am. I'll never play 5v5 Pro Am. I'm trash. Um, and what else? Uh, season prizes. Um, yeah, we're not worried about that. Um, 2K, I got a question. All of these coins that I got, are they going to carry over? I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Will these carry over? I'm not sure. I hope. Hey, what's good, y'all? I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I basically wanted to give you guys everything about my current bill as well as the current situation that I'm in with NBA 2K23 and season one ending. I'm pretty stoked for season two simply because the legend grind basically never stops until you hit legend. And I really wanna see what 2K has in store for us as far as challenges go. And to be honest, I did miss out on a lot of events. So I really wanna go event heavy in season two. So make sure that you guys hit that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're not. I'm trying to get to a million subscribers, man. So uh, tell a friend to tell a friend. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba. King Kong, King Kong.